There is a disease, it's called osteomyelitis. It's an infection of the bone itself. Osteo is, actually means bone, and myelitis is a common term for some kind of an infection. It's the same thing if anybody's LDS that they've heard of that Joseph Smith had when he was a teenager. Only at that time, they didn't have very many effective ways of doing it other than normally they would have wanted to have amputated that leg. And so they had a doctor who came in and opened him up without anesthesia and then had to scrape away chunks of the bone to get rid of the infected part of it. Uh, the way it worked for me and its onset was f interesting because I'd been out with my dad the, the evening before, the first day of my freshman year of high school. And I, then we went out home teaching together and I came home, everything was fine. We had early morning paper routes. We got up in the morning to deliver papers and every time I moved my right leg, it hurt like blazes. But I thought, wait a minute, this is too late to try and ask someone else to do it. So even though it hurt like crazy, I went out to do it, but it took me an extra hour or so because I wasn't walking as fast as I normally did. And I got home and my dad was trying to figure out people have been calling, so forth and so on. And uh, the, he thought maybe I was trying to get out of school or something, except for the fact that I had a fever. Uh, so I ended up home that week. I had a fever that go between 102 and 104 degrees. Every time it got up to 104, my mom would put a cloth diaper on my chest and douse it with alcohol. And uh, then at the, but, and I didn't do a whole lot of moving around because it hurt like blazes. Um, somewhere through there, we went to the doctor and they basically diagnosed what it was. And I'm not sure why the wait of the week, maybe it was till things were scheduled, I'm not sure. So anyway, it would go up to 104. She would put on the alcohol, it settled back down. And then it went up to 104, she put on the alcohol, it didn't go down. She put on ice cubes, it still didn't go down. And in, again, the beauty of the priesthood comes into the picture. My dad was able to get someone in. My temperature was up to 105.7 by the time they were able to give me a blessing. And only at that point did the temperature break. So again, a direct cause and effect and positive result. And the next day, they took me to the hospital. And what they did in the hospital, they'd make me get into really hot baths to, I guess, to relax the muscles and so forth. And twice a day, they'd give me a penicillin shot. And uh, the cutest thing I have on that, usually it was about the middle of the day and the other one's in the middle of the night. And one of the times in the middle of the night, they come in and wake me up. Okay, we've got to give you your shot. I turn over, it's in the rear end. And uh, with this one, okay, I'm ready anytime. Oh, I already did it. She did a good job. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. But with those basically, I think, six or eight shots, the penicillin took it out. And so that cured it. I was. Uh, so I was four days in the hospital, went back home, was home for probably another week recovering, so I was completely ready. So I was out of school for 18 days, which made the rest of that school year challenging. <laughs> but uh, probably the most telling thing is that when I was um, in ROTC and getting ready to go active duty in the military. They had checkups by a different, by a doctor. And he could not believe that I did not have a limp as a result of that osteomyelitis. With a bone, you've got an inner part of it that's actually fairly open. And that's where actually a lot of the uh, blood components are done and so forth. And then you have a hard shell part of it 
And plus you have a living coating on the outside. And my understanding that's where the osteomyelitis typically infects, is that outside. In my case, it was in my right hip. And they're trying to guess, well, why? And because the at least the presumption back then is maybe if I'd have strained it or something sometime previous that might have enabled it to settle in or whatever. Um, I'll tell you this, I've never had anything more painful. It hurt. <laughs> it was definitely something that was nice to get rid of. And the penicillin shots were the treatment? That was the, that appears to have been the main thing that in my case completely resolved it.